Uh, hey, what's up, guys? I just finished shooting some photos. Um, shot some black and white. It's not really what I shoot, but uh, it's for a class assignment. So I'm kind of hoping that they come out pretty cool. Um, I'll be developing them tomorrow in class inside of the dark room. I'm shooting a 120 medium medium format film, so it is kind of new to me. Um, especially black and white long exposure, it can be tr quite tricky, especially with uh, reciprocity flate failure. Flate failure. I'm kind of like excited to see how they come out. I'm hoping that uh, they're not too overexposed or anything. Um, but yeah, I was driving around for like half an hour. Um, couldn't really find anything to shoot that I really captured my attention. So I kind of just ended here um, in Long Beach, hoping that um, I get some nice colors from the water and the reflection of the lights. Kind of what I'm going for. Um, kind of the theme on the, uh, the what I'm shooting tonight is going to be uh, lighting and subject um, along with movement. So kind of being like your light being the main focus of the photo. The Mamiya RZ67. Um, it's kind of the shot that I got lined up. Shooting some Ilford Delta 400 ISO. It was actually my first time shooting Delta Pro on the Mamiya. I was using my waist level finder here, so it was a bit difficult to see my composition. It was also very dark, which made it even worse. Focus. So I'm gonna go and set this to bulb. Have my quick release, and then uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. All right, ready? Uh, actually, I forgot to take off the dark slide. Take off the dark slide first. Make sure you do that. Take off the dark slide. So uh, just gonna cap a little timer. I'm gonna do a 23 second exposure. All right. My framing was a bit off for this one, so I had to crop it just a bit in post. All right. Put the slide back on. Um, I'm hoping I got it. So if I didn't, then oh well. Um, right here on at my second location. I'll show you guys kind of how it looks. Um, it, this might look way brighter than it, what it really is, but uh, it's pretty damn dark out here. Um, here it is. Also, sorry guys, I didn't uh, bring my mic. I totally forgot it. So apologies if it sounds like shit. I'm actually recording on the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is like a little camera. I'm using this app on my phone called my Light Meter Pro app since I currently don't own a Sekonic Light Meter. I do plan on picking one up in uh, the next couple of weeks. Alright guys, I'm focused and uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Alright, when you're ready, go ahead and start your timer. Alright, here we got it. I hope you got the shot. Right before this, I actually uh, stopped by at this little hospital, um, kind of on my house. And they have like this really old emergency sign, which always catches my eye. So I decided to swing by and I was like, maybe I can take a photo of this. So I um, set up my tripod, I set up my camera. And uh, right when I was looking at the shot, like this van pulls up to like exactly where I was standing. I wanted to park there and I was like, yo, what the f Like, I was just about to take the photo. Like, I had it already metered and everything. And then, uh, so I moved, uh, which is fine. You know, it happens. So then I, I just decided, like, not, even, not to even take the photo after all. Like, I wasn't too happy with the composition. You know, and she didn't shoot in medium format. It's like, you gotta, you gotta, like, make every shot count. Um, you know, medium format is pretty expensive. You do only get 
10 shots per row compared to like a 35 millimeter. Just trying to see what I can uh, shoot without going too far. Hey guys, this next portion, I kind of want to show you guys something that happens to me a lot. Um, there's always times where I set up my camera and um, yeah, I don't even end up liking the shot. And just because I have my camera set up, I just take it. And it's, I think it's very important to know that, you know, you're not confined to taking that photo. You know, sometimes you see something and you set it up and once it's all set up, you don't really see it the way you kind of thought it was going to look. Um, so yeah, just because you have the camera set up and you don't end up liking the shot, you don't take it, man. Like, you know, what's the point of taking it if you're not going to like it? Let me focus it for you guys. Yeah, I framed it and everything. I wasn't too fond of it. So I didn't even end up taking it. Let's see, let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, I also switched out the head. Um, the I'm sorry, the Prism Viewfinder to the Mamiya RB67 one. Uh, I don't, this is the one I usually shoot with. This one, the RZ67, it's the waist level. Uh, but for this shot, it was very difficult for me to get a nice angle and kind of compose how I wanted it. So I had to throw this one on. Um, it corrects it corrects it for you so it's a little easier to compose your photos um although i've been trying to get better with the waist level so uh i like to discuss the show i'm not gonna take this photo you know i do like it but i don't think it's worth the shot i don't think i'll be too content with it i'm in my next location um, i was kind of disappointed and i was kind of bummed uh didn't really find any really like cool shots Happens though, and I was I was driving home. I uh, decided I saw this cool little spot. Um, I was like, this might have potential, so I just pulled over. I uh, I'm illegally parked, so uh, I gotta get this shot pretty quick. I have my shot already composed. Um, I wonder how it's gonna come out, but uh, let's see kind of uh, what I'm going for. Uh, I'm at a, I'm gonna shoot at F11, about 30 seconds. I'll be shooting with my A7S II for my next video. I decided to use my Osmo Pocket for this one, just because I was gonna be shooting alone and lugging around my Mamiya and another camera is just way too difficult, um, especially shooting medium format. So I decided to bring my Osmo Pocket, uh, but unfortunately it didn't do too well in low light. The light in this photo came out a little brighter than I wanted it to, but overall I was pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, here are the rest of the photos from this roll. I did develop these myself, and uh, I'll be enlarging some of these in the darkroom this week. So hopefully I can uh, post some of these up. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing a color video as well. Um, maybe I'll be shooting some Porsche 400 um, as well as uh, some other film stocks. So hopefully we can get something going. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this.